question to do today, but it's a nice 37 foot Montana fifth wheel. It's got three slide outs and a lot of dirt. Really nice couple and it was a referral job. So we're gonna do our best to really knock this sucker out in good time and deliver a great experience for the customer. This is the previous condition. As you see, being out here among the trees, it's had a lot of fallout and it's only been here a little under a year. So coming here in a fairly clean condition from Pecan Park to now living in the secluded area of Black Hammock, they are experiencing a ton of fallout and it's gonna need a lot more upkeep. So here's an up close look at the old bag versus the new bag. Man, they have really done some cool stuff. They put rivets instead of screws in there. So now it's not going to start doing this and, and over time getting all loose and falling apart nearly as easy. Don't get me wrong. The old one took one heck of a beating over the past three years. And uh, I was really excited to get my hands on a new one. Shout out to Colt Robinson for hooking up this customer with my services and me with this clientele. Okay, so this being the monster fifth wheel that it is and being on Black Hammock Island, which is sort of in the Fernandina area of Florida, middle of nowhere basically and a long ways to anywhere at the same time. And uh, so that being said, it ended up taking about 120 gallons to get the roof because of the condition. And because of that oversight, it push this RV into taking too many days in general but today we are finishing it and at the moment I got about 75% of it washed by using the N9 <coughs> excuse me the N914 by McKees 37 as a waterless solution but then also using a minimal amount of water because I had 55 gallons to rinse over it and make sure that I'm getting it really good because of the level of filth that was on it. So I have made it around 75 or so percent of the RV on the sides whereas the roof has been done and I did want to get some coating on it today and be done with it so I went ahead and started from this end with the coating and I'm sort of going behind myself and expect to be finished before the sun goes okay, down. Okay, so I've got one little piece left right here where it says Montana on the slide. The face of it hanging over these briars right here. I skipped around and saved for last. Otherwise, everything has been washed, treated, and ceramic coated with the Dino Wax spray and it is super slick looking really good. 